Not punk rock, is it? It's, it's not punk rock. It's acting. It's pretending to be something. Yeah, it's loads of people with green hair who should really have brown. Making little punk songs and it's not punk. Did one of you guys, one of you guys in the band jam with Neil Young before? Did? No, did you? Yeah, yeah no, did. So what's it like touring when all the people are good. It's good. I can't, you know, I don't stop and think about it all the time. You know what I mean? It's just good gigging. And whether, it, whether we're gigging in Timbuktu or we're giving in, gigging in LA, it doesn't matter where, you know what I mean? It's just good to be gigging. Is there a difference of gigs, how they are in America compared to UK or no? No, not, not when it gets to venues like this, no. Because it's just pretty much the same, isn't it? Thank God for that. Good move. So anyway, so here we are, uh, chatting. Drinking water in a pub. Yeah. Fucking terrible behaviour. You run a lot. Yeah. I run a lot. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I hate it and enjoy it at the same no, time. I fucking love it, man. Really? You you, oh, I love it. You never wake up and go, oh, God, no, it's again. No. That's yeah, really yeah, good, though. Some days, you know what I mean, when you're hungover and all that, and you're thinking, I'll be arsed, you know what I mean? But once you get out there, it's the best thing ever, man. It just, everything just falls into place, you know what I mean? It's like, for me, it reshuffles the pack. I get back home and I go, right, I've got to do that. He's got to be fucking told. That cunt's getting told and <laughs> shit like that. I've got to do this, must do that, you know what I mean? And, and then they change the laces in them shoes over to them pair, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, you know what I mean? But when I haven't run, I'm like a neurotic fucking housewife, man. Do you run far? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I run for about an hour, up hills, down hills. I don't time myself, so I ain't got one of them silly watches. Right. And I don't listen to music. Get away, I just run, just I'm like Forrest Gump. I just love being alive, man. Whether I'm 50, 60, 2, 4, or 7, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> buzzing to just be here, you know what I mean? Have you asked for something special for your birthday? I don't want anything special, man. I don't want nothing. I don't want, I've got everything I need, man. Mm. Oh, good man. I just want to just have a good time. Oh, I can't be a no aggro, you know what I mean? Just want to have a nice time, man. And just that's it, man. Okay. Where you, what are you going to do? Well, we're going, we're going away and that, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Top secret location. Well, you know what? I've already told people where we're going, so I'm probably going to get my house robbed now, but we've cancelled it. We're going to fing eye a flip out in um, Brent Cross. <laughs> so if you think you're going to come round my house and rob it, thinking I'm sitting musty, you got another thing coming, and I'll be well flipping out if I see you coming up my garden path with your little stripy top on and your swag bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. Have no. you been before? Do you know Yeah. Yeah, I've, been, I've never been like as a punter. No. Yeah. But I've played there a few yeah. times, but no, I love it. One of the things I wrote down yesterday was like, uh, and I don't know if it, if it matters to you or whether you care or not, but um, I said that if um, if Noel heard these songs, hmm. I think he would be like, they're effing great. Yeah, completely, Mum. Without a doubt, yeah, definitely. Because at the end of the day, man, he loves music and we all love music and, you know, and I'm sure he wishes me well, you know what I mean? Because... That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, now there's some good songs on there and I'm really proud of them. And I can't wait for people to hear it. So after the festivals this summer, what's the plan? Um, I guess, I don't know, man. More gigs, I man. I think maybe try and do a few bigger ones if if it's possible. You've got to be happy with the response so far, though. No, I'm made up, man. The crowd, the kids, are, there's a lot of young people as well at the gigs, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's a good sign. Have you been before? To Yeah. Yeah, I've, been, I've never been like as a punter. No. Yeah. But I've played there a few yeah. times, but no, I love it. One of the things I wrote down yesterday was like, uh, and I don't know if it, if it matters to you or whether you care or not, but um, I said that if um, if Noel heard these songs, hmm. I think he would be like, they're effing great. Yeah, completely, man. Without a doubt, yeah, definitely. Because at the end of the day, man, he loves music and we all love music and, you know, and I'm sure he wishes me well, you know what I mean? Because... That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, now there's some good songs on there and I'm really proud of them. And I can't wait for people to hear it. So after the festivals this summer, what's the plan? Um, I guess, I don't know, man. More gigs, I'm man. I think maybe try and do a few bigger ones if if it's possible. You've got to be happy with the response so far, though. No, I'm made up, man. The crowd, the kids, are, there's a lot of young people as well at the gigs, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's a good sign. Do you get a lot of people just bumping into you in the street who immediately think, Right, let's go to the pub then. A few, yeah. It's not even a pint these days. 
It's normally it's just straight in, fancy a line in a pint. I'm like, ah, oh, no, don't know what decade you're in, lads, yeah. but this ain't the fucking 90s. <laughs> You've been announced that you're playing Glastonbury mm. this summer, mm. and um, what, what are your memories of like the first time you played Glastonbury? First time I played Glastonbury, yeah, man, it was good. We were young. Yeah, it was great, man. I remember coming off stage and having my clothes robbed, and I remember meeting someone, some very strange kid who'd come up to me, and he thought I had cocaine in me, yeah. Fucking you know, hell, man. It's Liam Gallagher. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they come, oh, I've got psoriasis, so I've obviously been scratching it during the day and that. And there's little white bits of shit. And they were taking it out of my hair and putting it on the gums and putting it up the fucking nose. And I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> Liam Gallagher, yes. such a pleasure seeing you, my friend. And you, man. We were just talking then about moving house yeah. and the stresses of that. Stresses of it, man. You're not moving far, though. Only, no, I swear to God, I could gob out my window and it land on my new house. <laughs> That's not a good idea. It's still, no, well, it's still, it's still stressful, though. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. uh, no, it's just round the corner. But it's just going through all the, you know, all the stuff that you've acquired over the years. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have a bit of a purge. You're gonna get rid of some stuff. Just getting rid of it. Yeah. This is worse stressful things in life, isn't it? Well, that's true. How, how do you find Charlton fan? Are they doing? <laughs> are they doing well these days? Are they... Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, we nearly got promoted to the nearly, championship. Nearly, mate. Nearly. There you go. It's like Liverpool, isn't it? Nearly won the Champions League. <laughs> uh, it's all going very well at City, though, of course. Mate, do you know what I mean? Is Pep Guardiola still the main man in your Yeah, I mean, he done my head in a little bit when right. we lost to United and that, you know what I mean? And sort of like, I think, you know, when you know we were nearly won like four things and that, you know what I mean? And it that went down to two and that, so I was sort of thinking, come on, man, but he is the man, you know what I mean? And he won the league and that, but we should be winning the league. You're spending all that money, you know what I mean? And we should be beating United, man. Yeah, OK. I mean, what, you did win the that league. I've done my not in getting beat by them, but, but there you go. I get the right up when people call me a celebrity. <laughs> yes, okay, you're a rock star. You're well, a musician, yeah. you're a songwriter. Yeah, rock and roll star. Yeah, rock, and roll star. rock stars, rock. Right. Oh, no, yeah, of course. Yeah. I see what you rock mean, actually. Rock yeah. and roll's got a bit more swag, aren't they? And rock stars are a bit uptight, aren't they? Too many tattoos, leather kecks and shit. Yeah. And squeaking going on. I didn't. I had never thought of the difference between the two. It's good to be I, educated. I, I think so. I think there's a difference between rock and roll and rock. I heard that you ran into Frankie Dottori on your holidays. Yeah, I bumped into him once. We were sitting out drinking some margaritas. There was me, Liam Howlett, out of Prodigy, and my mate, Adam. And he's come over in his speedos. Hey, 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 fucking hey, hey, and all that stuff, because he's joined in anyway. <laughs> and he's turned around, he's gone, he's gone, I'll be back in a second, but he's gone to the fucking shop and bought me mate a bra. Because Adam was a bit, bit big at the time and that. So it didn't go down well with him anyway. The tequilas are flying and all that tackle. And then it all gets, you know, when it just sort of just goes a bit fucking silly. At some point, I'm on the back of him in his speed, because we've had him out now for about eight hours, and he's got his speedos on. He's going, hey, see my strong legs and all that. I was going fucking on the back. I got on the back, and I'm proper slapping him on the ass. I'm running around this gaff. I haven't seen him since either. See, I was thinking about you know, thinking about your family, your kids are born into a very different situation yeah. to the one you're born in. Yeah. It's going to be very different for them. Mm -hmm. Like, how are you going to handle that? They can have anything they want, I presume. No, they can't. <laughs> well, if you're prepared to give it to them. Yeah, but you no. can afford to give it to them. That's really the point. Yeah, I don't really think about it, you know. I just take each day as it comes, you know. I don't think about what it's going to be like in 10 years' time with the kids, you know what I mean? I just try and have a good day every day with them. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't plan too much, you know. We'll deal with that when it gets to, when it gets to that time. Yeah. And, um, what, what do you see in them of you? The looks, they've got, they're very good looking. <laughs> <laughs> what about attitude? I mean, are they, you they've know, you're a swagger. You have well, a great... Yeah, they've got that, yeah. They've got the attitude. Yeah, but they fall over after a couple of <laughs> walks. You know, but that's the way they walk. Yeah, I need yeah. a couple of drinks in it before I'm over. <laughs> yeah, they, they take the milk and you, yeah, yeah, the other stuff. No, no, they're good kids, I love them. So, um, we're talking fashion, actually, right, darling? So, anything special that you think, OK, is this a special fashion outfit, or is it just like whatever you wanted to wear today? What, what yours? No, you. Oh, my, 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 make a award show. No, mine's a pair of Lee, like, semis, like, from um, Japan. Like, a coat I got from, like, Germany, a pair of trains I got from Germany. It's not my kind of scene, like, you know, like... You know, Dressing like, up. Yeah, I, I like to wear, like, baggy clothes, you know what I mean? And not, like, short, sort of clothes. I like to, like, have it hanging loose, man, loose fit. Pair, like, tight up top, pair of... Um, Pair of trainers. So, what do you think is the worst fashion mistake someone's made? Have you seen someone that's so like, ooh, like so fashionable and is really doing your head in it? Looks hideous. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who? You. You look like a dove. I now understand why this guy doesn't do many interviews. I now get it. I totally get it. 
what is he doing now? I think you should go and like go to the audience and check out the. So I started off the Dan the drummer. He helped me with the demos. Yeah. So it was natural for him to be the drummer, and then um, and then we got Drew in, and his mates with Mike, who's a guitarist, and obviously Jay from Kasabian. Yeah. He was always going to be in it, so uh, come together, man. I mean, we've only done like about six gigs, so still still new, you know what I mean? But I think by the time we get to Glastonbury, man, we'll be smoking, man. That was brilliant news to be unveiled. Was it oh, yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Nice I'm one. Not, listen to me, but um, I'm still. <laughs> Glasgow, you know what I mean? I lost my phone. My phone, phone's still up in Glasgow in the no. hotel. Yeah, so I've not had any. Ch I've not my kids up like that. Where the f was he? Yeah. We're sad. Do you know what I mean? Where is he? Quiet. Um, that's a that's a great news though. Glasgow, yeah, it's gonna go off, man. Man, I can't wait. But you know that business of uh, you say it's better than to be on page one than on page yeah. eighteen. I mean, you know when you give the press a hard time, you know. No, people... they get, and I think they give me an hard time too. But I'm not here to moan about it. They give me an hard time. Yeah. I just well, got, you know what I mean. I just go about my business. You know what I mean. And then they sort of like see my, just be right there all the time, which is fine. You know what I mean. But I thought long lenses are meant to be, you know, stuck over there. Why have a long lens when you're going to poke it in your face? You know. What yeah. I mean? So you actually let them know. Yeah, I don't think they should be taking pictures of my kid personally. Well, that's not on. No. Yeah, they can take pictures of me and they can slag me off. And they can say the music's no good and stuff like that, but my kid's got nothing to do with my yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I, I thought there was a kind of a, a pact that the press had that they didn't intrude into people's lives well, when it came to their kids. No, I think they do. Kids. Yeah. No, I think they do. And they yeah. have done. In America, the trend seems to be uh, keeping in touch with fans through the internet or, I don't know, various different ways. Yeah. What's your feeling about keeping yeah. in touch with your fans aside from well, touring? I think, well, I've got no right to keep in touch with my fans, except for touring and making music, you know what I mean? I can only keep in touch with my fans by making a song and doing a gig and talking to people like you. That goes out on MTV. MT, uh, internet is bollocks, and I'm not having none of it. There's no soul. So, and other than that, walking down the street and meeting your fans, I'm not into the internet at all. So we can so do a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, so we can. I just don't like it, man. It, it's safe to say you don't have a computer at home and you're not do, uh, chatting with Oasis I, fans. I, I, no, I chat to Oasis fans in my own time. You know what I mean? But I've got a computer, but just because of what? But like everybody else, I don't. I'm not plugged it in yet. Do you wear your influences on on your sleeve and in your heart? I mean, yeah, I if it wasn't for for John Lennon, I mean, who do you think you would have taken your your lead from? Um, well, I love all that. John Lennon's my man. He's like he's the voice. I like him when he sings his rock and roll songs, but then he, he can also sing some beauty, he can slay you with his little, you know, ballads and that. And so he's my man. Johnny Rotten, if I'm, I kind of get a mix of, if I'm in between John, John Lennon and John Lydon, somewhere in between that, I'll be happy with that. It's a nice place to be. Yeah, man. Um, so what's next? You've got, you've got a couple of shows in Asia and then... Next, yeah, next we've got Bangkok, <clears throat> and then we go to Jakarta, and then I've got two weeks off on holiday, Ooh. I'm going to let it all hang out. Ooh. We're going to read about you, aren't we? Well, I'm going to definitely have a couple of drinks. I'm gonna, you know what they like out there, I'm going to keep a lid on it, you know what I mean? But I'm going to have a couple, I'm going to enjoy myself, try and get some sun on my bones and 